what happens when you stop posting on Instagram for a month? What happens when you just, you know, disappear from the feed altogether for one month? I'm going to tell you what happened to me coming up. I grew. What's up, everybody? My name is Larry G, and I am a portrait and lifestyle photographer based in Baton Rouge all the way to New Orleans, Louisiana. And for the month of July, I just didn't post on Instagram. Let me back up a little bit and explain why I haven't posted in one month on Instagram. In the feed, anyone who has been following me may have noticed that I've shown up in your stories, but not necessarily in your feed. And this was on purpose. I spent all of July making more work to share on Instagram. I felt like the work that I was putting out was not solid enough, was not good enough. I wasn't enjoying the content I was putting out there. And so I decided to take a step back, revamp everything, start from the ground up and make new content, work with new people, work on my editing style, work on my processes, work on everything that I could to make not only my Instagram feed look better, but to fall back in love with photography and the reason why I got into everything in the first place. If you know my story, I got a camera. I got my first camera because I'm a musician. I play guitar, I rap a little bit, I sing a little bit, and music was everything to me. And I needed a camera to record myself. Once I felt comfortable doing that, I decided to try my hand at photography and immediately fell in love. Now this story sounds very familiar for a lot of people with cameras. They get a camera for one thing and then they move into something else. As I progressed, I got better and I started wanting to take pictures of other people and models specifically. Recently, a lot having to do with the pandemic, I wasn't able to do that. And for a while I tried to accent that with other things. I tried to take pictures around the house. I tried to take pictures of myself and I wasn't feeling that same spark. So as things began to lax, I decided to post a model call. If anyone's willing to work with me during this time, we'll be safe, we'll do it the right way, but I need that interaction. For the month of July, I planned out several shoots. I had a shoot almost every weekend with one to two different models and I worked. I studied my craft. I decided that instead of sharing immediately on Instagram, I would save these. I would save these images, work on them to the best of my ability, get better at what I'm doing, study light, study angles, study working with the equipment that I had to make my product better. During the month of August, I'm gonna be sharing those images not all of them, and not even at the same rate or the same way I was sharing before. But I just wanted to give an explanation as to why I stopped posting in general. Going forward, I'm not going to be posting the way I was on Instagram. It just wasn't working for me that way. Instead, I'm going to try something new. And I took this hiatus as sort of a palate cleanser. I watched other people's Instagrams. I did my own research. And some days I just stepped away from it all entirely. I didn't want to be a part of comparing myself to other people or comparing my grid to theirs or comparing the way that I do things to other people. I think as an artist, it's important to understand your own way and figure out your own way. Yes, you can draw inspiration from others, but it's really important to figure things out on your own especially for someone like me. So I took that time to step away from it all. So by now, if you're still watching or listening, you may be wondering, okay, you stopped posting for a while. What happened? What happened to your Instagram page? What happened? And I'll tell you, I grew. I grew in followers. I grew in engagement. And I grew in appreciation for the way that people run their Instagrams. Most of the times when you stop posting in the feed, or at least in the past when you stop posting on the feed, you could see your followers decline. You could see your engagement drop. However, because I was working with other people and they were sharing the work, 
I would just share from their page to my stories and I grew. My follower count has gone up probably 20, 30 followers. And I know that's not a lot to some people, but to some people it is. More people were commenting on the photos that I had taken. More people were commenting and engaging with the photos that were already on my feed. That in itself is amazing to me. I stopped posting in the feed. I start paying attention to stories. I started commenting a little bit more and working on that engagement a little bit more. My DMs were active. I was reaching out to people and people were reaching out back to me. This is what social media to me is all about. Engaging with the person on the other side of the screen. I created real human connections, real human interactions with other people and I've grown from it. And I think that is the real thing that happened when I decided to step back and take a month off of Instagram. Not only did I grow digitally, but I also grew personally. And the personal growth is something that could only happen outside of the digital world. Should you take a month off from Instagram or social media in general? I can't answer that for you. I just know that if and when you do, do it with purpose and have a goal for when you do decide to come back. Have a plan for when you decide to come back. Sometimes stepping away from it all with no plan to come back at all is important for your mental health and for your digital reputation or what have you. I hope this video or audio finds you in a good place. I hope it encourages you to take the next step in whatever you were trying to do. That is my hope with these Monday motivation videos. Thank you for watching or listening. I appreciate you. I would love to hear your thoughts on taking time away from social media or stepping back or re-engaging with an audience. Um, if you're on YouTube or Facebook, leave comments, um, have the discussion. I'll be down there with you. If you're listening via podcast form, thank you. I really appreciate you. Uh, if you want to be a part of the conversation, go to one of the channels I specified earlier or check the show notes so that you can engage in the conversation as well. That's all I have for today. Thank you so much for paying attention. My name is Larry G. You can believe that and go crush your week.